Welcome back to Uncle Ken. This is Ken Gitari. Um, I'm washing my hands because I'm going to cook something really, really interesting. Something very nice. Something that I like. Uh, before we do that, in my last video, I was reciting pi up to 110 decimal uh, digits. But I think it's something, it's important to clarify that knowledge without reciting that knowledge, retrieving that knowledge and applying that knowledge is useless. It's just like having a spanner and you're not using it to repair anything. So today we are going to apply a little bit of that knowledge. We're going to do that by cooking chapatis. Now, what are chapatis? Chapatis are um, a very popular type of food, type of bread, common in a... Um, in East Africa, Kenya, especially Kenya and Tanzania. And I love chapatis. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Now, how do we cook chapatis? Use uh, flour. If I want to eight, cook eight chapatis, I need one kilogram of flour, uh, two eggs, 500 ml of milk, two tablespoons, and two spoons of oil, and then water, Ad libitum. Ad lib means at your pleasure. Now, here are the um, items. So this is hot water. Uh, this is hot water and that's hot milk, I'm sorry. And we've got, I like this um, olive oil, organic, and we've got olive oil here. And i got sugar here. And we've got eggs. So we're going to use two breads. So let's, let's do it now. I'm going to take this. And the first thing I need to do is put in two spoon sugar, as we said there. Put it there. Two of them. And then we're going to break two eggs. Put it there. Another one. And then we're going to Put in um, two spoons of oil, and then we're going to mix it up. Uh, actually, I'm going to use this one. Yeah. And we still, got, we still got hot water there, which we can use. Now I'm going to put in. This is the flour I like. I love it because it's it's smooth. And it's very fine. It's, exact, it's just one kilogram. I'm going to put it in this big bowl. Just about it. Just going to leave a little bit here to make sure you mix it properly. Put that one there. And now we mix. Obviously, we shall have to add, we'll have to add more water here. And that's why we got hot water. Good. Add more water here. So this is the time now we need to add um, more flour. So we don't need any more water. Okay, here we go. I'm just trying to make sure that the total amount of flour that you use is just about one kilogram. However, if we need more, we can use more flour there but this should be almost adequate should be enough and now the next stage is to knead kneading now i can actually take the dough out i don't know why we call it dough it's supposed to be duff or something because it's spelled funny but it's called dough i understand now i can do it here on the table and kneading is actually I understand it breaks down the gluten molecules 
to uh, create very nice plastic um, structure which makes the chapati very nice you keep on adding a little bit more flour until it's it's done like that I'm doing this as reminds me when I was young we used to eat uh, chapatis and then my mom and would give me would give us each two chapatis me and my brother one to eat today the other one to eat the next day and somehow we ended up eating all the chapatis the same evening um, sometimes we would eat and say okay I'm going to just eat around it and sometimes we leave it this little side then we just eat it once because we love chapati so much just like I do today so now so we've learned about um, the ratios we use ratios because how did I come up with those those ratios I tried all sorts of ratios and I found that those ratios are very produce the best chapatis for me for my taste so if I wanted to uh, cook four chapatis, I'll just divide those ratios by two. If I wanted to cook for two, two chapatis, I divide the first ratio by four. So that's how we use ratios when cooking in the kitchen. Ah, I'm almost there. Come on, it's still a bit sticky eh? for hitting. Hey, instead of hitting somebody, just hitting the dough doing a good job now this is the second part after leaving the flour to set we let the flour to set here for about 30 minutes you can leave it for two hours even three hours some people leave it overnight uh, i think that's for the gluten to um, to set and to make those beautiful molecules but we've done that and now i've rolled this one here and now i'm going to make a perfect cycle and I use this, just improvise, and I do that. This is not in the chapati manual, it's just my own um, style of doing it. So you might want to use it whichever way you use. And here we got a, a good chapati, and that our pan is heating here. I think it's too hot so we have to release the heating it's a bit too hot now okay to reduce the heating and that's our chapati and i'm going to put it in the conveyor belt so from here in the frying pan and from the frying pan into the storage place so let's go that's the second chapati we're making now just mixed up with what I cut from the first chapati. There we are. Anyway, so put it back here. And now I think we've got pan has cooled down a little bit. It's still very hot. All right, so we have our chapati here. Put in the oil first, a little bit of oil. And then put a bit of oil at the top. It's uh, on low heating, so the pan is quite hot. So one thing I have to tell you is that chapati, um, in chapati there's a lot of oil. But a good thing is that much of it evaporates, so you still end up consuming little oil, not as much. And you turn it over again. In the meantime, you'll be doing, you'll be rolling the other chapati. Okay, turn it over again. Yeah, you can see the color is beautiful. Some people call it um, the spots of a cheetah. Those colors there, are beautiful. A cheetah or a leopard. That's what some Kenyans call it. 
Beautiful colors. Almost done. Just almost there. Just a little bit of it here needs to be. Okay, that's done. Put it here and cover it so that it still retains that uh, fluffy feel. You can see like um, okay, uh, that fluffy feel. Victor! Yeah? Victor, somebody ate my Come, quickly. Victor, oh. did you eat my chapati? Okay, so this is the last bit of uh, cooking. And uh, as uh, we agreed that um, we're going to find the use pile. And what we're going to do now is to find the area of uh, chapati. The Ken chapati, which this is one of them. And the way we're going to do it is we need to use the um, formula. We all know the formula for area of a circle, because they are very circular. Area equals pi r square. So that's the area, in other words, the surface area of the chapati but we know what pi is we don't know what radius is how do we find the radius of a chapati there are two ways number one we can take um, this one that we used to the same area and come here and put it exactly on top and then identify the center which is there then punch that bit and we take that one as radius the other way is to use a ruler. We know that the longest line that passes through a chapati is the diameter. So we take, we start the ruler at zero on one edge, and then we pivot the ruler like this. We could, we find the longest, the longest, the largest length on the chapati, and in this case, 21.5. So 21.5, we divide by 2, so we take 21.5, 21.5 divided by 2, and that should be, give us 11 point, um, what is that, 10.75, 10.75, and that will be our radius, therefore our area equals pi times 10.75 times 10.75, that's centimeters, or pi times 10.75 square and that should be our area and if you use a calculator you should be able to get the answer now we can also find the volume of the chapati because this has got volume how do you find the volume we can find the volume by just multiplying that area by the height imagine this as a cylinder a very flat cylinder so what I need to do is to measure the height of this very flat cylinder, which is our chapati. And actually, if it starts from zero there, it's about half a centimeter. It's about half a centimeter. So if I multiply this pi times 10.75 squared times 0 0.5, that will give me the volume. And that will be centimeters cubed. This area is centimeters squared. So we have used pi and therefore we have applied uh, our pi in finding the area and the volume of a chapati. Well done. Um, I wish you a very nice day.